Hey everyone, welcome to this video and today we are going to build a 100% local, secure and private MCP client that you can connect to any MCP server that is out there. So here's what we're going to cover in this tutorial. We'll start with some background on MCP, understand some of the key components and how a client server interacts with each other. And uh, then I'll explain you uh, the architecture diagram of the app that we are going to build today that includes our local MCP client and an SQLite database over which we are going to build a server and connect it to our client. And finally, I'll be giving you a detailed walkthrough of the code on how you can build this yourself step by step. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's set the context for this video by understanding what MCP is and why do we need to learn how to build a local client. So MCP, as we all know, is a standardized way that you can use to connect your LLMs or your AI agents to external APIs, data sources, and for that matter, any tool that is out there, right? You can think of it as a, a USB-C port for your AI application, right? Wherein you have your AI app and then you can easily plug and play database, maybe uh, an MCP server that is built over GitHub or Gmail or local file system. And for that matter, any API that is out there on the internet, you can easily connect them to your AI agents using a standard interface. So that's about MCP. Right? So there are two major components in an MCP setup. One is a MCP server, right? So MCP server basically wraps up, let's say the external APIs, database, or for that matter, like any API that is present on the internet, it can also be your local file system. It wraps them as uh, MCP tools and make them available to the client. Now an MCP client is something that is used by our AI application. And for that matter, like the agents and LLMs that we're building, to communicate with the MCP server, right? Now, we typically see that this MCP client is either hosted by Cloud Desktop or Cursor ID. So there's a bit of problem with that. The reason being these MCP hosts use an external LLM. Basically, they would be calling an API and sending your data somewhere else. So let's say if you're working with some sensitive data that is very important to your organization and privacy is paramount, right? So in that case, you cannot use such a client wherein your data would be sent to some external server. So this is the exact problem that we are going to solve today. We'll be building our own local client that you can universally connect to any MCP server that is out there. Let's try to understand the architecture of the system that we are going to build today. All right, so before we jump into the demo, it's time to understand the key components and the architecture of how the system that we are building today is working, right? So we are building a local MCP host, which has uh, a Llama index agent, which is powered by locally running LLMs using Olama. And this agent is working together with the, our custom made client, right? So uh, let's try to understand step by step how, you know, the life cycle of uh, a user interacting with this system would work, right? So user would come up with a query, right? This query is uh, going to be, you know, received by our agent and uh, then the agent would use the client to, you know, connect with the MCP server. Excuse me for this typo. So this should be a local MCP server here. So uh, what, what the client uh, is going to do is it is going to connect with this uh, MCP server, get information about all the tools that are available, right? So this is shown in the third step. And uh, based on the user query, the agent would decide like what is the right tool to call, right? So then we'll have an actual tool calling or function calling, right? Uh, the MCP server that we have, it has two tools. Uh, so it's a server that is built on top of uh, an SQLite database. But as far as you are concerned, I mean, you can replace this with any server. So our client is uh, generic, universal, and it, it will easily connect to that without any sort of code change on the client side, right? So to, to keep things simple and didactic, we have uh, two tools uh, in this server. One is to add data to the server, and one is to read data from the server. And uh, based on whatever tool is being called, uh, it will, you know, uh, finally generate a context or the response. And this response is then received back by an agent. And on the basis of that, it will be able to, you know, provide a final answer to the user query. So this is how the system work. And uh, the tech stack, if we look at it, will be using Llama index uh, to orchestrate all these things. And then we'll be using, uh, you know, Olama to locally serve an LLM, which is powering our agent. And uh, the LLM that uh, we are going to use would be DeepSeek R1. So I hope you got an idea of like how, uh, so I hope you get an idea of like how this system is going to work. 
it's time to you know uh, build this and uh, i'll give you a step by step guide on how you can do it yourself so i hope now you understand like how this system is going to work and it's time to you know jump into the code and build it step by step all right so now i'm in my cursor id and it's time to understand all the code for building this system right so uh, i'll quickly start by explaining you the server that we are going to use for this demo uh, which is uh, a simple sqlite server that i built right so it has two tools uh, which is uh, an add data tool so each of these tools uh, are going to expect uh, you know an sql query in form of a string right uh, and i have also provide like all the description of like how the query should look like what should be the schema of it and also gave a few examples so that it becomes for our agents or the llm to make the tool call since we are using local llms right so here's the actual uh, functionality uh, or the code to you know add new data to our sqlite server similarly the second tool is a read data tool again takes a sql query in form of a string uh, we have try to be as descriptive as possible regarding what this tool does and uh, examples and uh, the argument that is it is going to take right again uh, the functionality is actually implemented here so uh, the tools are fairly simple and as far as you are concerned you can replace it with any server that is out there that you want to connect uh, with our client and you do not have to you know uh, make any sort of code changes uh, on the client side so the client is universal it would generically connect to any mcp server that is out there right finally uh, we have some uh, code to you know uh, how you can uh, run this server so i mean you just need to run this command ue run server.py and then specify like the uh, transport mechanism so we are using uh, typically like uh, mcp provide two transport mechanism like how uh, server can send data to the client so if you are you know uh, doing something exper uh, some sort of experimentation and doing things locally in that case you can use scdio so basically uh, everything that your server is going to print to your terminal or the stdio is going to be used by client and uh, it will be used as a context by the agent that is working with the client another thing that we are going to use today is ssc which is like more sophisticated way so let's say if you are, you are connecting to a remote server then the communication would happen or you know server sent event or just like http so do not get confused with the term terminologies like these are just two ways on how your server can send data to your client so uh, that's about the server and uh, so what we can do is we can already get our server started right as you can see our server is start has started the next step is to you know build an mcp client and establish a connection with our server right so as you can see llama index provide these two modules one is uh, the basic mcp client and mcp tool spec so basic mcp client is uh, will be used to you know uh, will instantiate or create our own client and will provide like uh, where the server is running so our server is running at uh, locally at 8000 and you then also specify the transport mechanism or like how the server is going to send data this, to this client so as you know uh, since we used ssc when we started the server so we are going to specify ssc here so this would be connecting via server sent events so now that our client is ready what we're going to do is we'll be using the second thing which is uh, you know uh, mcp tool spec so if you look at the definition of this class it is built on top of the basic tool spec class so i'll give shed more light on it or i'll give more details about it uh, very soon when we are going to build the agent so if you read this uh, definition mcp tool spec will get the tools from mcp client right and convert them to llama index function tools right so if you see here we have already created uh, the mcp client and using mcp tool spec what we do is we'll get all the tools uh, that are available to this client which is already connected to our server right and then it will wrap up them in a form so that these tools can be used by the agent or the function calling agent that we have in llama index which we are soon going to build right so these two lines are doing all the heavy lifting in terms of you know creating a client connecting it to the server and then wrapping up those tools in a way so that it can be as easily used by our llama index agent that we are going to build right so we have it here and uh, as you can see we'll try to also print like uh, what are all the tools that are available in our server since we already created the client and uh, it will print all the metadata so as you can see uh, so it is providing uh, the tool name 
so this is the tool name right and uh, it is also giving the metadata description of uh, like what exactly is present in this tool right so this is the description that uh, we provided for the two tools that we created right so this is fairly simple uh, nothing confusing about it right so now uh, we have access to the two tools that are present in that mcp server we know like the description and what exactly they do and this is something that is going to be used by the llm that is powering the agent that we are going to build so without any further ado it's time to build the agent right so before that we'll uh, also define a system prompt so this system prompt would uh, you know steer the llm in a way so that uh, it knows that uh, what exactly this llm is supposed to do so in this case uh, you know uh, it's an ai assistant that is used for tool calling so we specify all that information here uh, but uh, on need basis let's say if you have a specific application you can use this system prompt and uh, uh, modify it according to your needs right so uh, this step is also done we have defined the system prompt now comes the important part wherein we define our function calling agent right and how we provide uh, this agent access to all the tools that are present in the mcp server right so only these lines are important right so the function calling agent is nothing but a simple you know llama index function calling agent that has ability to call any tools that are provided to it right so if we look at the arguments uh, it takes uh, the name of the agent right the description like what exactly this agent is supposed to do then it takes a list of tools right the llm that is powering it and the system that system prompt that we defined now you should carefully look at you know uh, this agent does not uh care whether the tools are coming from you know a simple python function that you have defined and you wrapped it up uh, using uh, the base tool spec of llama index right or whether it is coming from mcp but here we have made made sure you know these tools are the mcp tools uh, that we have got access to using our client right so uh, it's fairly simple so it's just a typical function calling agent but we are using uh, making use of the mcp tool spec so that we are able to you know wrap up uh, the tools that are present in the server that we are connected with right and uh, they are wrapped up in a way so that uh, the agent can easily use them so that's simple next uh, is uh, you know we also need to define like how we handle the user messages right since uh, we are going to have uh, you know an interactive chat session so we need to make sure like uh, what all messages are there uh, what agent uh, we are using you know for all this interaction and uh, then we also need to provide context so that uh, let's say if uh, uh, i had uh, a conversation with the agent so th it should also store all these messages in the context so that i can also ask a question which is a follow up of my previous question right so basically maintaining the chat context right so all of that this would be done here so we have this uh, function that would uh, take care of you know handling the user messages fairly simple you can read about it like uh, it takes the mes message context which is the string the user message the agent that uh, which is our function calling agent will also define the context very soon so that this context would manage or you know take care of you know storing all the chat history and everything that is happening like what tools have been called like what uh, what are the description or what are the metadata that is involved in the tool and uh, the responses that we got out of our queries right so everything would be stored in this context so it's just a helper function that we have defined here and uh, so let's run this as well so i mean we already initialized the client so but let's uh, again do that so if you see uh, these four or five lines would completely explain like what exactly is going on right so first we create an mcp client right using the basic mc mcp client functionality that is provided by llama index we provide the url to our server uh, we also specify the transport mechanism right then we use mcp tool spec to you know wrap up the Uh, mcp tool in a way so that it can be easily used by the agents uh, the llama index agent that we are going to create right so then we call uh, get agent right so get agent would take uh, all these tools and it would be using it here right so that's fairly simple and finally we are going to create the agent context right so this agent context would make sure uh, agent keeps uh, the context of uh, the entire chat history or the entire chat session so that we can also ask follow up question based on our previous conversation tool information what are the output the raw output that was given by the tool and what is the final response that is being sent to the llm so the simple line would take care of all those things right
All right, so now it's time to interact with this agent, uh, which is running completely locally. And uh, as we have like set up everything, it has access to all the tools that are available in our MCP server, right? So as you remember, the two tools are simple. One is to, you know, add data to the database and another one is to, you know, fetch data from it. So let's get started. And uh, first we are going to add some data to it. So I'm providing a simple natural language query. I'm saying Rafael Nadal, whose age is 39 and is a tennis player. So as you can see, uh, this is uh, the user query and uh, we were able to, you know, successfully call the add data tools uh, with these keyword arguments. So basically it converts it uh, into an SQL query and uh, the, then the agent says that the data has been successfully added. So let's try to fetch this data now, right? We'll call. Okay, so now you can see like uh, it uh, is calling the right tool again since uh, now we are trying to fetch the data that we already added and it shows that okay, uh, against ID1 we have Rafael Nadal, age 39, uh, professional tennis player. So it nicely structures uh, and stored it in form of a table, right? So let's try to add some new data. Uh, So again, we are able to, you know, uh, add new data. So you can do fetch data again, just for the sake of th this demo, uh, right? So now uh, it is able to, you know, fetch all the new records as well. So yeah, uh, this is a fairly simple demo. Uh, and the reason being, I just wanted to focus on building an, uh, a local MCP client. Uh, but this client can be universally connected to any MCP server that is out there. So you barely have to like make any changes on the client side. And uh, since MP MCP is so powerful, like it has standardized all this interaction. So it's a powerful setup. So yeah, definitely try to uh, try it out. Like, let me know if you have any feedback, what you liked about it. And uh, I think that is all for this video. And uh, if you're watching this on Twitter, I have also given a detailed uh, description and a step-by-step -step guide in the thread that follows. And if you're watching this uh, on YouTube, make sure that, uh, you know, you like this video, you subscribe to my channel so that it gives me a signal that I should be creating more content like this. All right. Thank you so much uh, for watching this and thank you so much for your time. I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.